Hello everyone, and tonight I am playing X-Men, which was re-released for the Xbox Arcade and the PS3. But this game was originally released back out on the arcades back when the X-Men debuted with a pilot series. So, it was before the X-Men series that we all knew back in the 1990s, which had a really kick-ass theme song. Plus, it has like a little female character you can see like right there. No, that's not Rogue or, uh, I don't know, Jean Grey. It's freaking Dazzler. Now who knows about her besides the people who read the comics in the 80s. Now I decided to do this LP to test out my um my Final Cut and well I got Final Cut 10 and I'm just basically just testing out like the vocal system and like I like you know like my little style when I like take the um sides of it and I just kind of blur it. So yeah, like tell me like what you guys think about that. Anyway, but basically, this game was re-released, like, it's a whole new updated look, got, like, all the characters and whatnot, well, not all the characters, but just the main six, and I like to choose Cyclops, because he's the main character. Anyway, they have a Japanese and an English mode, and English mode gives you very limited lives and or amounts of times you can do your special move, but I got it on the Japanese mode, as you can tell, even though they're sp still speaking English, but... Go and save the city! I don't think you will want to hear the English because the voice acting is freaking terrible in this game. Anyway, this game is your standard beat em up. You just go around beating the crap out of everybody. Should have chose Wolverine, but yeah, I need to. And basically, like, it's just like, if you guys ever play, like, in the arcades, I know, like, a lot of you youngsters out there, like, who were probably, like, born, like, at the start of this, like, millennium or near that. Basically, like, back then. Yeah, you don't know what an arcade is. But basically, back then, like, they were trying to make money off of kids, um, and, like, having games in the arcade. So they, like, made them really super hard. Like, Ninja Turtles, and, I don't know, uh, Final Fight, just games there. Like, you're just playing a beat em up, basically, and you're always gonna get hit. And every time you use your special on this game, like, you only could do it until you die, unless you get, like, a health pickup, which is, or not a health pickup, but, like, a mutant pickup, which you're probably not even gonna see a lot. And you get your ass kicked a lot. See, I just, that's, like, when I lose all my lives, I only get, like, three or four. Basically, after that, like, I gotta freaking, what's it called? I gotta put in another quarter, and I gotta freaking start all over. But basically, on the Xbox, or the PS3 version, whichever one you're playing, you can have people join in and out of this um, version, which is very nice. So I'm still playing with more people, see? Like how it's all coming in? Anyway, for some reason, I think my audio is distinct right here. I don't know. I'll fix it afterwards. Yeah, I'm doing this all post because I feel like post commentary because I feel like I haven't done those in a long freaking time. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been watching it so long because it only seems bad at this point. But that doesn't matter. Anyway, this is Pyro, and we're all kicking his ass. The thing is, like, he has the mutant power to control fire and not, like, create it on his own. So, he has, like, little jetpacks on his freaking on his freaking hands and whatnot, and he can shoot out fire. I don't know, man. If you guys never read X-Men or watched the cartoon series, any other cartoon series, I recommend uh, X-Men Evolution, which is, like, my favorite series. Like, or actually like this video regardless, but... Thumbs up if you guys ever seen X-Men Evolution and you freaking loved it because that was my favorite, like, freaking X-Men series. Yeah, that's weird. Like, it, it desynced and then, like, it fixed itself. You know, well. Anyway, that's the end of this level. And on to the next. I don't even know where we're inside of, but it looks like a little factory. Anyway, we gotta kill all these people going up in here, beating the crap out of them. So you see, like, I only did this just, like, as a test. Because... <laughs> Like, as you can tell, like, the images on the side or at the top, like, they're a little bit stretched. That's why the, like, quality isn't so good. But the way this, um, originally is, like, if you play this on the 360 or the PS3, you would be able to, like, like, on the sides, like, it'd just be, like, blank. So, like, if you're playing this in HD, like, I'm doing you a favor. I'm adding it in. I don't know. But yeah, like, it's kind of hard to talk about a game where all you do is just pretty much, like, it's a button mash. Just go around and shoot people. Um, I don't know. Cyclops is the leader, and he's married to Mary Jane, or I don't know, Emma Frost in the comic books. I haven't read it ever since M-Day, which is where, like, 
um, Scarlet Witch. She turns off all, or kills off like a crap load of mutants. Well, she didn't kill them off, but she pretty much like got rid of all mutants. Let's say no more mutants. And they retconned her powers to have the ability to do whatever the fuck she wanted. I don't know. It was a very confusing storyline. But basically, yeah, and people can like go in and out of the game too, just like how Colossus just did. Anyway, yeah, Colossus, he died a couple of times, he was a bad guy at one point, but he was one of the newest X-Men who joined the roster once, like, all the old X-Men left. It was like when they decided to just, like, hey, we should make a multinational team, and, like, have a freaking Russian guy, and have him made of steel. He was always my favorite character in X-Men Legends, and I pressed start a few times for some reason, I don't know why. You can apparently switch your character, like, once you die enough times, but I never really knew how. Like, I've done it, like, on mistake before, but, like, I never knew exactly what. Leave it in the comments if you guys know. Matter of fact, today's question is gonna be, who's your favorite freaking X-Men? And one of my friends is Nightcrawler because he can teleport. And I guess that's a legit reason why. Shut up! Anyway, this is Blob and he's fat as shit, and you kick his ass because, well, he's fat as shit. And he says nobody can move him. Well, you know what, we're just kicking his ass, and the nice thing about him is that you can beat him up while he's on the ground. Oh, man. Ugh. But anyway, the last person that's going to be joining us is Storm, which is the secondary leader of X-Men, and she has the ability to control weather. And she's married to Black Panther, but I think he dies. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm only just showing this off as, like, uh, just a little short playthrough, so you guys stay tuned tomorrow and see what else I update. So, I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya!